Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use the duplicator plugin to transfer your website. So this is my current website and this is where I want to move it to. So first thing you have to do is go to the WordPress dashboard area and install the plugin. So I have already done that. You can see the duplicator plugin here on the left sidebar. Go to packages. Then from here, um, just click on create new. Now you will have to select a name for your package. Uh, for example, I have selected today's date. And if you want, you can also add some notes here. So you will know that when you created this package and then scroll down and in the archive area here, if you want to exclude some folder from the backup, uh, you can do that from here. For example, I have uh, selected this uploads. So you can see the uploads folder path here. And if you do not want to do exclude any folder or file, um, just click on clear here and it will go back to the default. Now leave all these things as it is and then take this option security. Uh, just take this password option and then select the same simple password. For example, I have selected 123456. This password will make sure that when you are migrating your website, uh, no one can interrupt the process by accessing the installer file at the same time. It can be from bots. Okay, so just select a simple password. Now just leave this thing as default and then click on next. Now duplicator plugin will scan your site and show you if there is any error. So if there are too many large files on your website, you will see a notice or error here. So you can see most of the things are good and there is only one notice. So just click on it and it will expand and you can see the details. Okay. So I can safely ignore this. So I will just um, again collapse this and then scroll down and then take this option. Then click on build. Now, depending on your WordPress website size and your server resources, Duplicator plugin will build the package. You can see the package building process is complete. And now you will have to download both these files. So just click on one click download here. And you can see both the files have started downloading. Now, if you have not done this before, a Chrome may show you an error that to allow the permission to download multiple files. So just do that and these files will be downloaded. Now click on this option, copy installer name to clipboard. Just copy it. Then in notepad, uh, just paste and save this file name option here and then minimize it. We will need it later. All package files have been downloaded. Now go to the new server. So I will, for example, I will show you the cPanel. Uh, just log into the cPanel area or you can access this with the FTP or any other or using any other control panel which your hosting provider has. Um, this process will be same. Just go to the file manager area here. Then go to the public HTML folder here. Usually this is how the setup is, but it can be a little different depending on your hosting company. And go to public HTML folder. So right now you can see I already have some files. Um, it is from a different website. So you will not have all this. Um, what you have to do is simply ignore this and click on upload option here. And then click on select file. Or you can just drag and drop these files also. After uploading the duplicator package files, uh, what you have to do is go to your new website URL or if you are migrating your website, simply update the name servers and make sure that your domain is now pointing to the new server. Okay. So right now you can see if I refresh it that there is no WordPress here. Uh, so what I will do is open the notepad in which I saved the file name here. So I will just copy it and then go here add slash and then paste it okay now enter on this page you will have to enter the password uh, which you selected when creating the package so mine was one two three four five six um, you can see it here and then click on submit now on this page if you do not see any error so here you can see both the validation and setup has been passed um, you can see it's green 
so i will simply select this um, i have read the terms and condition and then click on next okay so the duplicator plugin successfully managed to extract the archive files now we need a new database to connect to so for this go to cpanel and from here um, just um, go to this database section here then click on mysql database here you will have to create a new database and user so i will select um, tutorial and then click on create database then click on go back now scroll down and here create a user then create a password for it you can use the password generator and then click on create user then click on go back now we have to connect the database and user so from here select the database uh, user we created then select the database and then click on add grant all privileges and then click on make changes okay so now we have to fill all this information here so in database um, this is the database i will just copy it from here and the user okay and then put the password here now to test that the duplicator plugin is able to access the database uh, just click on test database here and you will see that it has passed the test so everything is good now click on next click on ok here now this plugin will install the database just leave this thing set default so this is your new website url and if you are migrating this will be your old website url automatically or you can just click on this get option to directly get this url then click on next okay so everything has been completed successfully um, you can see this now let's log in to the admin area click here now enter your username and password now after logging into the wordpress dashboard you should see that the all the installer files have been deleted and cleared so you can also manually go to the file manager and make sure that everything is deleted so you can see it has been um, everything is clean you can also uh, use the remove installation file option from here just click here and if there's any installation files left um, it will be cleared automatically so you can see no duplicate of installation files were found now you can see um, this is our new website url and this is our old website url and so this was a very basic tutorial about duplicator plugin you can use this plugin in multiple ways to create backup to migrate to create clone of your website or a staging website there are many uses so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful and if you have any questions or query please post in the comments and i will try to help you out so that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next video